Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of questions about memory and one of the biggest question is how to get six star memory. Do you buy them? Do you farm them? What do you do? So in this video, I'm trying to answer the question and some memory guide or tips and advice that I have after applying for quite a while now. And if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel. Anyway, let's get to it. So there are three main ways to get memory. The first one is very obvious. You go to resource, you go to combat supply, and you farm the shit out of this. It is very important to only farm this when you get to the last level. Why? Because in the last level, you're guaranteed to get a six star memory after clearing eight times. Any stage before that, there's no such condition. But it is really expensive to do every single turn, and the chance to drop is not exactly like amazing. In other game, getting a six star something with a 17% chance to drop is pretty crazy. But in this game where refueling stamina is quite a pain in the ass, as well as the stage being very expensive, it is not that often you see six star memory. I really hope there's a way for me to show you guys how much stamina I have spent in that damn stage to show you guys what memory I have, right? Because I try to go to like the achievement and there's really no way to show you guys how much stamina I spend in that stage alone. But I've spent quite a few. And I'm sorry I'm not a spreadsheet guy. I don't record my run every single day. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. But I play a lot in that stage. The second way to get memory is in the shop. So here you can buy memory at a very exorbitant crazy price of 1,200,000 cogs. That's very expensive seeing how your cogs can go up and down very fast in the game with a lot of upgrading and all that good stuff. But this is a way to get what you want without any RNG. So if you farm enough cogs and you see that, oh, you really need that slot 3 Einsteiner, you're gonna go get it. And by the way, big shout out to the art of all the memory, man, because the art for all these memory, imagine they have live 2D, so fucking good. Like these art are absolutely insane, dude. It looks so good. I'm sorry, I'm pausing a little bit because the art is just too fucking good. But anyway, I said there are two main ways, but this is like the other way in the buying way. You know what I'm saying? In the recycle shop, you can choose six star memory shop and you can buy exactly what you want. So how do you get this currency? You recycle the six star memory that you don't want to use. For example, you go to your items, you go to memory, right? And then if you don't really enjoy using, let's say, Frederick, for example, you know, I'm not saying Frederick is bad. I'm just saying, for example, you can recycle them, press that, press recycle, and then you get 50. So for every three memory that you don't want, you get exactly what you want in the recycle shop. So that's pretty good. There's no RNG involved. You recycle three, you get exactly what you want. There's also a pay to win way in the top up shop. So in the top up shop, in I think the limited supply, I can't remember which one I bought it from, but there was a six star memory shard pack that sold you 300 six star memory shards. So you can buy two six star memory for $10. So I bought that because I have some rainbow card left over from the time I spent the first $100. I still haven't spent more by the way, still haven't spent more yet until, um, I don't know, my, uh, <laughs> until maybe we get more views on the channel, I make some extra cash, I can, you know, invest back into the account for fun, but I uh, haven't spent more yet, okay? But they only sold one pack. I don't know if they're gonna refresh that. I have no idea. So you can't really just spam that pack and, you know, deck down your entire SWAT with six star memory per se. They could do that, but I could only buy once. Okay, Sean B from the future here just to say that Sean B in the past totally forgot about another way to get memory is via event. So when alpha drop, it will come with an event that will allow you to get the memory set that is good for her, which is Barton. And you can do that by farming in the event, get the event currency and trade that for the memory in the event. And if you're wondering if you have to like prepare like a six star memory set for alpha, don't worry. They're going to give you a chance to farm for the exact memory that you want in the event. So just, you know, get your black card ready and your credit card ready or whatever card you have, your mom's credit card ready too. And pull for Alpha, maybe pull for her weapon 
and start going ham and cheese on the event. So those are the main way to get memory. Now for free to play player, which way is better? Do you farm this or do you farm this? My personal advice would be you should have enough cock to buy at least one memory from the shop and then the majority of your stamina will still be spent on the memory farming stage. But for like really early game player, then you'll probably be farming over clock material and maybe cogs, but not farming memory just yet. I think you should start farming memory when your team is now decked out with five star memory, you're good with a story and you have cleared pretty much everything. And you know, the only way to improve your score is six star memory, like the really, really good one. You want to go from EK, from IFE to let's say the specific memory for your elemental damage dealer or Barton, that kind of thing. You want to replace your support memory from Voltaire to like Da Vinci, for example. Then you start farming some memory. But you can use five star memory and clear pretty much everything in the game like no problem honestly so you have enough cogs and the moment you go to the cogs factory and you see that one specific slot that you really really need you're not going to get that from farming because there are so many different memory and there are six different slots so getting that one specific slot five hana that you have been chasing for for like a week and it is only a million cogs come on you are going to buy that because stamina costs black card and less black card means less chance for your next S tier waifu. So cogs can be farmed, can be given through events and mission and achievement, all that good stuff. And you don't need that to pull for waifu, okay? So if they cost 1 million cog, it's gonna be worth it. And at the last stage, one run give you an average, I would say 90,000 cogs. You're going to take 14 runs to get the exact memory that you want. 14 runs only. But compared to this, if you do a 14 run here, you might get two to three six star memory, I would say. Like generously, you get like three six star memory. The chance of getting the exact thing that you want in six different slots and like a ton of different sets is not going to be that big. If I have to run 14 times in Cock Factory to get that slot 5 Da Vinci that I've been waiting for to just complete the fucking set, I'm gonna do it. But then you might say, wait, if it gives you 3 memory in like 14 run on average, then you can recycle all of that and, you know, get exactly what you want, right? But I can't recycle everything I get because it might be that 1 with Da Vinci you need for resonance for the support that Philip 2 for the healer, that Barton for the damage dealer resonance, not everything you get can be recycled. So if the shop sells something that I really, really need, that 14 run of cars is going to be worth it. If you need a very specific memory guy, I'll leave a link down below to Raxlan guy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know more about memory than the guy who have played this game since the very start and he's a god of the game. So I'll leave the link down below for you guys to check out his detailed guy to who need what memory and do follow that because it is a very very good guy other than that thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye